Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. If you saw one of the recent videos that we did, James and myself went guitar shopping and I was shocked with what I came away with. Now, I went into the guitar shop thinking that I was going to be buying a PRS and little did I know that I'd come out holding a guitar that, to be honest, I've never got on with before. <laughs> So what is this? This is a Gibson Custom Shop 57 Les Paul. This is a recreation of a 1957 Les Paul. I've done videos in the past saying that I don't get on with Les Pauls because of the balance of them, the weight of them, how awkward they are to play, and the sound of them. I've never really got on with a Les Paul. I've never had a Les Paul that sounded right for me. I tend to gravitate to Telecasters, as you may have seen in other videos. And I tend to gravitate towards single coils. Even when I'm using my PRS DGT, I normally switch it in the single coil mode as I love the sound of that. But I went into Guitar Guitar. As I said, I was looking for a PRS. I was actually looking for one of their semi hollows, one of the new ones. And I tried out a bunch of PRSs and the guy in the shop said, look, why don't you try this Les Paul? Because it's honestly the best Les Paul that he's ever tried. It was a second hand one. Luckily, someone bought it about a year before and uh, then came in and chopped it in for a 335. So this is a 1957 custom shop, gold top, obviously. Now the things that I love about this guitar, it is incredibly resonant. If I turn down the volume and play a chord, It just rings and you can feel the whole guitar vibrating your hand. Because this is a 57 style Les Paul, it's got a massive chunky neck. I tend to love chunky necks. I've got a really chunky neck on my 52 Telecaster over there, which is probably one of my favorite guitars. So let me just go through some of the sounds. If I turn off all the pedals and I just give you a sound that's sort of clean on the verge of breakup. It's still got all of the, the brightness you'd get from, so like a bolt on guitar. <laughs> but you still get all the sustain that you get from a set neck guitar if i switch in an overdrive <laughs> Now, one of the things that I've never really got on with a Les Paul is the balance of the Les Paul. Most Les Pauls for me tend to want a neck dive. Now, this one here is completely, completely balanced. <laughs> Now, before I end this video, I just want to talk about guitar shops and the pandemic. Now, I don't know if you guys realize this, but musical instrument sales has done incredibly well over the pandemic. 
Now you might be thinking, well, this is a fantastic thing. Obviously, you know, there's gonna be more guitars in the country, there's gonna be more instruments, and that's a really good thing. Now there is a problem that we all could be facing because all these musical instrument shops have done so well over the lockdown with online sales. I'm guessing that a lot of these shops are thinking, well, hold on a second, we're spending tens of thousands of pounds on rent on these shop fronts every single year. Why don't we just close these shops and just have a warehouse where we can sell guitars? And if we get to that sort of stage, I personally think there's only gonna be a few guitar shops left in the country. And when I tried out this guitar, I tried out a bunch of different Gibsons. And I know over recent years, although this is changing now, the Gibson haven't really been known for their quality control. There was a big difference between this guitar and another Gibson Custom Shop that I tried out. So what I'm saying is, if we don't support our local guitar shops, we're gonna be left with buying guitars off the internet. And we're not gonna be able to try out the guitars, which personally I think is a really, really bad thing. So if you can, as opposed to buying online, go to your local guitar shop, go and try out the guitars there, and go and buy from your local guitar shop, as that is what's gonna keep all of these guitar shops open. Anyway, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, do all the usual stuff, like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from The Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.